Here's a problem involving fences. So we got a farmer. He's got three horses. He wants to build a fenced-in area uh, for them, separated into three sections. These horses don't get along, so we don't want to put them all in the same area. So we want to make a rectangular area that's broken into three sections. He's got 8,000 feet of fencing that he can use. And also, he's got a river on one side of the property, so we don't need to fence that side. So let's draw a sketch of what we got. Here's the river. And what we want to do is we want to draw a rectangular area that's broken into three sections. And we want to make this as big as possible so the horses have a lot of uh, the most possible area to move around in. We know we've got 8,000 feet of fencing. So let's start labeling this. The question asks, how long is this section here? How far do we come out from the river? And we're going to assume that all of these are the same length. So all of these we'll call L for length. Okay. So because we're going to need fences use our 8,000 feet of fencing for all four of these parts. But we're also going to have to use some fence for this part here. So how long is this part going to be? Well, we know we've got 8,000 feet of fence to start with. So we have 8,000 feet. But we're not going to use all of it. We're not going to use these four sections. So we're going to take away one, two, three, four L's from that section. And so that'll give us the total length of this side, all 8,000 feet minus the four pieces we use here. So if we want to maximize the area, area is length times width. We multiply this out and rearrange L times negative 4L, that would give me negative 4L squared plus L times 8,000. So this gives us our area formula. And what we see is it's a quadratic. We have an L squared, left off the L there, and an L on that. And if we want to maximize a quadratic with a negative number, well, that means the shape of the graph is going to look like that. So we're looking for the highest point on that graph, which would be the vertex. So we use our formula to get the L, negative B over 2A, which would be negative 8,000 all over 2 times our A, negative 4. So that would be negative 8,000 over negative 8, which comes out to be 1,000 feet. So to maximize our fenced-in area, each of these sections needs to be 1,000 feet long, which will leave us 8,000 minus 4 times 1,000, so 4,000, 4,000 feet wide. 